Welcome to the next project. Uh, this is a quick two minute tip about uh, needing a third hand or maybe just a foot. I use a lot of different power tools, uh, routers especially, and that's where this tip is really gonna be mainly focused. Quite often I'm holding onto a piece and needing to turn a router on or off. And using the built-in on-off switch on a router is at times cumbersome. So for years I've been using a foot switch. It's a momentary switch. You step on it and it allows power to whatever's connected to it. You take your foot off it and it's like an off switch. It turns it off. You don't want a switch that you click it and it's on until you click it again. That'd be bad. You want on, off. This is not overly safe. Uh, a lot of the industrial ones have a shroud over it. So when you put your foot in there and step on it, it's covered. And the shroud keeps you from accidentally kicking into this and turning it on. But, you know, I live on the edge. So this is a, a momentary on switch that I use with my router, and it's a really great thing to have. Safety part of this is you need to be sure to switch your router to the off position whenever you're not using it. If you're going to change a bit, turn the router off as well. I quite often will unplug this and turn the router off when I'm changing it. Double layer of uh, protection. Don't want to lose my fingers. Also, if you just happen to grab your router off the shelf and want to use it for another purpose without using a foot switch, you want to make sure it's turned off because if you plug it into the wall and it's still in the on position, it's going to scare the breakfast out of you. If you're lucky, that's all that will happen. So be sure if you are using an external switch of any sort, you still use the on-off switch on the device, um, you know, whenever it's not in use. You know, when I am using the router regularly and I'm not changing bits, I'll use the foot switch. If I have to change a bit, I will also turn this off. So, you can get these online, eBay, Amazon. I think this one was like $25 a couple years ago. So always use safety. Use what's up here. If you don't have anything up here, maybe you shouldn't be using tools at all. But Anyway, I hope this has been handy, uh, helpful and handy. Uh, be safe. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.